This is blood spatter analysis, what we're doing today, and now we're gonna drop blood. Uh, this is a large volume drop, so we're dropping uh, 20 milliliters of blood uh, from 30 centimeters. Okay, we're gonna see how uh, it reacts, how the increase in the volume of the blood is going to affect uh, the pattern that it creates in the spines of the drops and the satellite drops. So let's go ahead and helm it up. Now, just keep that running. You guys want for a minute. Okay, so we have the parent drop. Okay, parent drop, we have the target surface. Okay, now what are these called? Spines. Spines, spines. you have the spines. And now, uh, as, as you can see, when Carlos dropped at that time, he put it in one spot. So all of that blood landing in one spot, the volume, okay, uh, caused the coronal effect uh, where the blood came up and then worked its way out okay so now we see a lot of these drops that are misplaced from the parent drop and those drops are called well, satellite drops okay and if we look at the distance okay as you increase in volume okay what do we increase the number of spines and an increase in the in the satellite drop